It's your boy, Once or Grove, man. I hope that you're having a blessed day wherever you are, whether it's day, night, somewhere in between, man. This is episode 39, and uh, man, we're working on this new 495 album, man, in New York. And I just got off the phone with my homeboy, Sendo. Yo, I want, and this is what we're planning to do, and this is what we're strategizing about and for. Man, this album that we're about to fucking put out, this new 495 and level 4 album, two albums, is going to be some monumental shit, dude. We're not making any fucking thing that's stupid, dude. We're not making anything that's fucking whack. We'll never fuck with anything that's fucking stupid, dude. My guys, we went to school, man, for fucking um, computer science, for musical um, production, music, and... uh. This shit, man, we're really taking a hard, long look at how albums have been made over time, decades. And we're looking at old school shit like Madonna, Cyndi Lauper, Public Enemy, all the old school shit, man. The way that albums, Cash Money Marvelous, fucking old school shit, man, LL Cool J, like you name it, man, Tone Loke, Rakim. Albums that sounded fucking ultra fresh, dude. EPMD. I'm talking on a level, a sonic level, man. Cool G rap, DJ Polo. I'm talking about albums that were magnificently fucking made. Albums that were made so fucking incredibly well that when you listen to them, you're like, this is an album. This is real music. Michael Jackson. Dude, we're not we're not gonna make some whack shit, dude. Okay? On the, on the New York level of 495, parallel universe to what we were doing on the East Coast, or on the West Coast, okay? We're gonna make a fucking goddamn album that is some shit with the noir kind of like background thematic, where it's like, wow, I'm looking at YouTube, and I just saw some, um, some uh trailer for the for the venom shit that shit man oh my god that shit is just oh my god amazingly dark but dude we're gonna make some shit that's like um john carpenter level shit okay we're gonna make some escape from new york shit some some shit like the movie the warriors dude the sounds like are gonna be on some levels dude like some some shit that's just like Hank Shockley, dude, like, man, just some stuff that, like, when you hear it, like, I was telling my boy, I was like, yo, you know the whole Bruno Mars thing, the whole retro, you feel me, like, when you go back and you listen to, like, how things used to sound, where there was melody, there were instruments, there were music, from, like, say, for example, the Immaculate Conception, okay, from the Immaculate Conception, the Immaculate Collection, I, bro, I'm talking Queensryche level shit. I'm talking music fucking shit that's dope. You know, you know Red, okay? I'm talking Borderline, Lucky Star, Holiday, Material Girl, okay? I'm talking about real goddamn fucking music, dude, in New York with top producers where when you hear it, you're just like, Jesus Christ, dude, this is a fucking real, into the groove, dude, live to tell, dude. If you if you listen to Live to Tell, right, which I'm listening to with headphones right now as I'm doing this this broadcast, I'm talking about when you hear 495 level four, dude, Madonna Live to Tell. Madonna Live to Tell. Go to YouTube right now. I want everyone to go back and listen to the Immaculate Collection. <laughs> what, dude? I've got my headphones on, dude. Imagine a 495 level 4 album that start man I'm gonna fucking pay, dude I got 50 grand on this album man maybe 100 or 250,000 dude dude imagine I pay for a sample dude to this shit and we rock a rhyme on top of some shit like this this dude we're not making fucking raps that are garbage the next shit is going to be the ultra shit, dude, where motherfuckers, when they talk about us, they're like, yo, what, did you say 495 level 4, dude, you're talking about the ultra shit, and niggas is like, well, what do you mean by, like, the ultra shit, and they're like, well, have you ever heard of the Madonna song called Live to Tell, the intro, okay, I'm gonna go back, dude, pause, go back to the beginning, I'm gonna press play, okay, 
I'm at 0.00 moving forward seconds, right? Dude, go on YouTube, put on some headphones, and or turn up your stereo speaker system if it's legit. Between the beginning, ooh, 19 seconds, bro. Come on, man, we're not playing, bro. My homie said we can't do everything 80s. It can't all, the whole album can't hold 100% be 80s. But when you see our album, dude, we're going to put our shit in record stores, bro. And the record stores just still exist. Our shit's going to be on, it's going to be vinyl. It's going to be CD. It's going to be, I'm going to put our shit on 8-track, dog. Like, you think I'm fucking with you? I'm going to find a company that still does 8-track, dog. I'm going to put our shit on 8-track. Yeah, you heard what I said, man. That's my promise to you. I'm going to find a company, a fucking scientific research firm, and I'm going to put this shit on. I'm going to make an 8-track of this shit. Do the old school shit. Ooh, do the old shit the, when real music was being made. Man, I'm going to keep this under seven minutes, man. I'm not going to say too much. We're strategizing. We're talking about strategies and tactics. We're talking about fucking making a real album that's like real music, dude, with the fucking... You, you open it up, you unfold it, it's a poster, plus you can get the poster, dude, and everybody's just lined up, like, this is an album, dog, with everyone from 495 and level 4, man, go online, bring up Madonna, live to tell, that's the kind of music that we're about to be making, man, I'm gonna put down, I'm gonna start off by putting down 50,000, get it up to 100, get it up to 250,000, we're gonna spend over a million dollars on this shit, I'm your boy, Once or Grove.